Good evening. Hello, guys. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. I came just on time. I was running. <laughs> but I came on time. Okay, guys. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I know some of you have problems because of the rain. Is it raining out there where you live? Is it raining? Yes, teacher, it's raining here. Okay, yeah, it's raining right here too. Okay, guys, six hour conference number. Which number is this class? Do you remember? 17. 17, exactly. XR video conference number 17. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna take the attendance first and then I will tell you which is the topic that we are gonna be studying this evening. So let's start with Alba Vides. Is she here today? Present teacher. Nice, Albita. Alfredo Rodas, present. He is oyente. And Amir Carcañengues. Present teacher. Very good. Carlos Gualberto. <coughs> Cristina Romero. Present. He's <coughs> oyente too. Okay. Thank you, Cristina Rosana. Domingo Alexander Gonzalez, very responsible. He's always in class on time. Present. <laughs> Fatima Portillo. Ma Jose Matias, oh, okay, he's sick. He's not going to be here today. Um, what about Marco David Velasquez? Is he here? Is he here or not? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Yes, as always. Mr. Velázquez. Marlon Cardona Valencia. Present. Nice. Mauricio Majano. Maideli Judith. Mia. Nancy Rodriguez. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Rocío Maritza Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you, Salvador Escobar. Sa Sandra Yamilet Velázquez. Víctor David Salazar. Walter Daniel González Pérez. Present, he is oyente. William Eduardo Pérez García. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jasmine Melanie Lemus. Present, teacher. Okay, very nice. Thank you so much for being here on time. Okay, so yesterday we were learning about the use of, well, first we learned vocabulary relating to accounting. And it was, you know, a little bit difficult because maybe we are not related with this, with this technical vocabulary, but we studied it. And also we learn to use so and such. Today, we are going to continue learning about the use of so and such. We are gonna have more practice. And also we are going to introduce the topic of gerunds. So let me share with you the screen. Are you able to see the screen now, guys? Mm. Yes, we can. Mm. And now? No. No. All right. And now, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes. Thank yes. you. OK, so it's our class number 16, review of so and such and gerunds. The class objective is participants will be able to write four sentences using so or such about an article in groups. 
agenda, we have the following activities. Um, William Eduardo, could you please read the activities in the agenda? Okay, teacher. Agenda. Uh, wrong up. I have such a great day. Activity one, so, so and such. Activity two, creating sentences with so and such. Activity three, let's learn about gerund. Activity four, listen to practice. And wrap up. Thank you so much, William. Okay, so to begin with the warm up is I have such a great day. We are going to read this story. It's about Kevin's day at the cinema. And the words that are in bold, las que están en negrita, are the words so and such. So we are going to read, okay? Um, I'm going to read it for you the first time. And the second time, I'm going to ask some students to read one sentence each, okay? So first of all, listen. And second, I'm going to ask you to read, okay? So let's start. It was so hot yesterday afternoon. The air conditioning wasn't working and it was such a hot day. I decided to get up of the house and go for a walk in the park. However, there were so many people. It was so crowded and there was such a lot of noise that I decided to go to the cinema. I love watching films. Science fiction movies are the best. Well, I think so. There was such a long queue for tickets. After buying my ticket, I decided to grab something to eat. At the cinema, they always sell the same stuff, such as popcorn, chocolate, and candy. And it's always so expensive. Anyway, when I went into the cinema, I was so happy. There were so few people that I was able to get a great seat. Best of all, the film has such a surprising ending. Okay, so as you notice, he is describing his great day at the cinema, and he's using so and such a lot. Now, I'm going to um, ask some people to read the sentences, okay? One sentence is this. It and it finishes in afternoon, okay? You stop when you find a period. So uh, I'm going to start with Mr. Cañengas. You're gonna read the first, the second sentence. Uh, Mr. Marco Velasquez. Sentence number three, Rocio Martinez. Sentence number four, Jasmine Melanie. Sentence number five, William Eduardo. Sentence number six, Nancy. Sentence number seven, Marlon Cardona. Uh, eight, let me see, Alfredo, if it's possible. Uh, eight, Cristina Rosana, if it's possible. Nine, Alba, if it's possible, okay? And then we're gonna see who, volunteer, okay? So let's start with Mr. Cañengues. Okay, it was so hot yesterday afternoon. Only? Yes, Marco or Domingo. Who was the next? The second sentence? I am in, I am the, the, the air condition was what? working on it was short and hot day. It was such 
It was such a hot day. <laughs> it was I such a hot day. Okay. I decided to get off of the house and go for a walk in the park. Continue. Uh, However, there were no. so many people. I think Marlon is the next one. I don't remember who. Sorry. Are you the next, mister? Okay, which one? Sorry, the internet is not so good. Okay, it was so crowded. It was so crowded and there was such a lot of noise that I decided to go to the cinema. Thank you. Nancy? I love watching the science. 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 Fiction. Science fiction movie are the best. Okay, well, I think so. Next. A long queue for tickets. There was such a long queue for tickets. Thank you, Alfredo. Next. After buying my ticket, I decided to grab something to eat. Thank uh, you. The cinema, they always sell the same stuff, such as for fun. Chocolate. Chocolate and chocolate and candy. And it is so expensive. Thank you. Cristina? Adios. Bye. <laughs> or Melanie? Okay, anyway, when I went into, into the cinema, I was so happy. I was so happy. Continue. Yes, until the end. There, there were so few people that I was able to get a grand seat. A gray seat. Gray seat. Best of all. Of all. The film. The film has such a Surprising. Surprise ending. Ending. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. So now what are you going to do? You are going to write about your great day. Okay. I have such a great day. So write a paragraph about a great day you had. Include at least three sentences using so and three sentences using such. Make a drawing of your great day. Usted puede hacer un dibujo de, su, de ese día. ¿verdad? Share with the class. So right now you're going to work on that, please. I'm going to give you time for you to write a paragraph about a great day that you had. So try to remember when, when the last time you had a great day was. When was it? The last time you went to the beach, the last time you were you spent time with your family or the last time you bought something important for you so right now you're gonna write a paragraph okay any questions i'm gonna be here and you can ask me okay are my instructions clear are my instructions clear? okay thank you Individual teacher? Yes, individually. Okay.
Si gustan, les pongo el anterior como ejemplo. Sí, teacher. The previous paragraph, okay. So you have an idea of how to start your paragraph. You know what, guys? When I see the popcorn, I just feel like eating popcorn. I want to. <laughs> I want to eat popcorn. Do you like popcorn, guys? Yes, teacher. So do I. Okay, nice. Wow, guys, I don't know you, but I, I feel like if uh, this week just ran away or it just flew away <laughs> this week. Imagine today is Friday. It's Friday and next week we are just missing um, three more classes. And I want to tell you that on, on, on Tuesday, yes, el martes, on Tuesday, you have to uh, complete the encuesta. Ustedes van a completar la encuesta. Pero no la van a hacer antes, la vamos a hacer juntos en la clase. Es, por favor, por favor, no la vamos a hacer individual así cada quien por su cuenta. No, la vamos a hacer juntos en la clase con la ayuda de uno de los eh, personas de la administración de inglés corporativo. ¿Ok? Así es que no, no, nadie la vaya a llenar solito, individualmente. No, la vamos a hacer por su cuenta, aquí juntos, todos juntos en martes. Y no, eso es... Mandar... Sí, les vamos a mandar el link y la información que necesitan. Okay. Pero sí, la vamos a llenar juntos en las clases, porque hay unas nuevas instrucciones y necesitamos que ustedes las comprendan bien. Y además es muy importante que no falten el martes. ¿Por qué? Porque eh, llenar esta encuesta es un requisito para que usted pueda seguir eh, para el siguiente curso. Así que ese es uno de los requisitos, llenar esta encuesta de satisfacción. Sí o sí, tiene que llenarla. Ok, guys, ¿cómo va ese párrafo? 
How is that paragraph going? Okay, did someone finish? Teacher, I don't know if you can hear me. I can hear you. Okay, uh, I, if I'm wrong, you correct me, please. Okay. I, I begin. My day began with a beautiful morning. It's so interesting because no new people and they are so good with other co-workers they have so much more at the pool pools they have a such a big hurt i invited to lunch i i gave them such price such price and after we go to the lake Potepeque and was a meeting such an interesting about the helpful to others. Okay. Okay, thank you, Marco, for sharing your paragraph with the class. Congratulations. Uh, Rocio says, it was such a rainy day, I listened today, that I couldn't drive yesterday. I met with my friend. It's so beautiful and such a charming. Ok, Rocío, cuando usamos such, necesitamos, después del adjetivo, poner un, un now. Teacher, I listen the noise. You, yeah, it was the rain. Ok. No. Teacher. ¿Se fijan? Sí. I finish. Ok, uh, solo quiero decir esto. Bye, mire. In the previous, oh, ok, here in the, in the paragraph, you can see, for example, it says, it was so hot yesterday. Afternoon, it was so hot. Después de so, are you? Adjetivo. Otro ejemplo, it was so crowded. Ay, después de, de so, are you? Adjetivo. Eh, there were so many people. Eh, it's always so expensive. I was so happy. There were so few people. Entonces, descabal, después de so, after so, we use adjective or adverb. Now, after such, tenemos un noun phrase, un noun phrase. For example, it was such a hot day. Adjetivo plus a noun. There was, there was such a lot of noise. 
there was such a long queue for tickets, such as popcorn, such as surprising ending. So it's very important that you see the structure of so and such. Vamos a ver Nancy. Nancy wrote, it has been so long since I enjoyed together with my family. So many things that we went through together in such a way that I miss them too much. Oh. Okay, Mr. Cañengas, can you please read your parada? Okay. I don't understand the, the last rules. Las que acaba de mencionar no las tuve presente, pero espero esté bien. It will a such great day for me. Um, so I didn't go to work today. I'm going to drive until the beach. It is such my happiness that that uh, is that um, how do you say sonreír? Smile. Ah, okay. Uh, it is such my happiness that is my all the world. I also decide that I will come to the place. My friend, my friends are such happy that today send the picture of sunset. I love it, the sea, so I live until the next weekend. Okay, I Finish. love I love the sea. The I love to see. Okay, yeah, I could hear that you were using such instead of so. Hay uno en el que dijo so, no dijo such y va so, pero no, no le capté cuál, no recuerdo. ¿Qué se dirá? Lo último que dije fue, um, my friend are such happy that to the my friends were so happy where where my friends Teacher. were so happy so and such so, uh, use of always the past tense no no puede ser it could be present past future it doesn't matter but what it is important to remember is that after so you use adjective. After such a noun phrase, you need a noun. Miren, por ejemplo, aquí dice, I had such a great day. Tenemos aquí una noun phrase, una frase, ¿ve? un gran día que está compuesta por un El artículo, el adjetivo y el noun, a great day. I had such a great day. Okay, do, do we have another volunteer that would like to read their paragraph? Another volunteer? No? Yo todavía no lo he terminado, teacher, y no había entendido muy bien. Okay. Sí, es que van a describir un día grandioso que usted tuvo. Sí, es que lo hice, pero no le, no le metí el... el... Ah, it's so and such. Ajá, no lo metí. Entonces lo que estoy, entonces había entendido mal. Ok. Teacher. Una consulta. Uh -huh. Tell me, Domingo. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice al final? Uh, al final. O oh, al fin. Finally. 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 Yo había hecho final. Ah, no sé si está bien o oh, no logro entender. Y se había puesto that were 
that we went out with my friend to the beach. I was so remember this day. I was so brilliant. There, there was so stressed, stressed, I and finally I had our. Dime, Pato. I see se pone al final fue un gran día. I tried to At the end. Ah, day. okay. At the end, sería. At the end, it was such a good day. At the end, sería al final, at the end. Teacher. Tell me, Mr. Cañengues. Ok, eh, bueno, según entiendo, such sería una, una expresión de énfasis. Yes, ay, que usted no estuvo ayer en la clase, ¿verdad? Yo no estuve en la clase ayer tampoco. Eh, a, a ver, eh, Dito, pero yo no... Estoy un poquito perdido. Neither do I. No, I don't either, I think. That's Teacher. true, you were not in the class yesterday. That's why. Okay, pero... Um, viendo, viendo la definición de such, eh, tal o tan. Exacto. Ok, ok, pero si en esta frase, I had such a great day, uh, si yo le quito el such, ¿pierde sentido o siempre se puede, o siempre se puede entender la frase que se quiere decir? Sí, se puede. Great? Uh -huh. Great, o sea, en sí ya, ya es una palabra de énfasis o de descripción, ¿verdad? De, 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 sí, de, que fue de, un gran de, día, ¿verdad? Tuve un gran, un, día, un gran día, un día grandioso. Pero cuando usted le agrega el so o el such, usted lo está haciendo todavía dándole más énfasis, con más fuerza, ¿verdad? It was such a great day, o sea, fue un, un súper gran día, ¿verdad? Un gran, gran día. Le voy a poner aquí... En, otra vez voy a, voy a mostrarles lo que vimos ayer porque sí creo que es necesario que lo sepan por los que no estuvieron en la clase. Y los que ayer estuvieron algunos no están hoy. <risa> Se turnan, ya lo vi. Ok, so look at this example. We have so and such. So plus the adjective. And such plus noun phrase. Example. It is so necessary for the company. It is so important to check the reports. The projects were so well made. Our ideas were so imaginative. After so, we use adjective. Now, we such. It is such a creative program. It is such a significant investment. The report was such a useful tool before. The last product was such a big success. If you notice, after such, we have a... Adjective, noun, a, a created program, a significant investment, a useful tool, a big success. So it's such plus noun phrase. What is the difference? The same, we have so plus the adjective. She's so pretty. Their house is so big. This is so amazing. Examples with such. He's such a handsome man. They have such a big house. This is such an amazing idea. So you have to use the noun. Adjective plus the noun. Now, aquí hay, un, hay más ejercicios que pues vamos a hacer, vamos a completar. Vamos a completarlo juntos. 
we had, you have to use such or so. We had such, such. Exactly. We had such a lovely day at the beach. Number two. Thank you. So. Thank you so much for my birthday present. Number three. So también lo podemos utilizar como resultado, como para mencionar el resultado de algo. Por ejemplo, I left early, me fui temprano, ¿verdad? So, ¿para qué? No, para no perder el bus. I left early so I wouldn't miss the bus. O oh, también se puede traducir de modo que, or as a result. He studied hard. He studied hard. So? So he will pass his exam. Number five, I never seen, nunca he visto. Such. such. Such a large dog. Un perro tan enorme. I didn't know you were such such teacher. Such a good cook. No sabía que tú eres un gran cocinero. It was so, so cold. Estaba tan helado que no pude dormir. It was so cold that I couldn't sleep. Number eight, she grows flowers. Such a strong. Very good. Such as. ¿Por qué? Porque en um, este caso, ah, ahí está el, el asper. To compare. Es para dar ejemplos. También podemos utilizar. El, Está como el, comparando. No, para dar ejemplos, para decir tales como. Ella cultiva flores tales como. También para eso se utiliza el such. Such as. Tales como. Ella cultiva flores tales como. Tulipanes, pensis, and daisies. Daisies are margaritas and pensis. I, I don't remember that kind of. The type of flower. Okay, we were. So. Porque tenemos adjetivo, ¿verdad? We were so excited that we couldn't sit still. Estábamos tan emocionados que ni nos podíamos sentar todavía. Hey, number 10. I can't afford to buy. Yeah. Such. Such an expensive car. No puedo pagar un carro tan caro. Muy bien. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Ya le vamos agarrando. Yes. Ok. Now, guys. The next activity... In the next activity, ustedes van a escribir oraciones, write sentences using these adjectives and the nouns, and also using so and such. For example, we have a party. You can write. For example, voy a poner aquí un ejemplo. Usando such. This is such a wonderful party. O, oh, this music, or the music, is so loud. ¿Sí? ¿Sí comprenden? Yeah. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Vamos a usar estas palabras y estos adjetivos para hacer oraciones usando such and so. 
Y aquí pueden ver aquí, por ejemplo, house and big, street quiet, temperature warm, elegant lady, horrible manners, proud parents, tidy bedroom, complicated question, delicious food, advice, useful, tragic news, secluded beach, quick and temper, happy people, greedy children, enormous cliffs, a gray singer, terrific singer, neighbors noisy, incredible life, disappointing results, amazing photographs, a strong opinion, broad shoulders, and tranquil evening. Okay, there are a lot of words here, but uh, just write 10, okay? Write 10 sentences using such and so. Five and five, okay? And you can share your sentences in the chat. Write it in your notebook mm -hmm. and in the chat too. Teacher. Si, sí, mister. For example, in the second example, uh, you read uh, the music is so loud. Loud and play music. O sea, puede escoger, uh, en ese caso, no sería un adjetivo y un nouns a la vez, porque el loud, loud, ¿qué significa? Disculpe. Alto, fuerte, en cuanto a volumen. Exacto, entonces la música estridente, por decir algo, algo, algo. Entonces algo, ahí dice, mire, vaya, mire, por ejemplo, en el primer ejemplo, this is such a wonderful party. Esta es una... Una gran fiesta. Una fiesta grandiosa, o maravillosa. Grandiosa. Vaya, y luego, the music is all loud. La música es muy fuerte. Ok, pero música tan fuerte no es como lo mismo que está describiendo a la música en su contexto de que está elevada, fuerte, sacada de tono. Sí, también podría, que... podría usar el such, por ejemplo. This is Ajá, such a loud que... music. Entonces, ¿se puede utilizar such? O se puede utilizar so, depende cómo lo, cómo lo ponga. Vamos a hacer los mismos ejemplos, pero utilizando de la otra manera. Porque si solo hubiera un término, pienso, o sea, sería como más fácil saber cuándo es, cuándo es so. No, y que usted lo va a poner como, como en el momento suene. Vaya, por ejemplo, this is such a wonderful party. ¿Cómo lo podríamos poner? The party is so wonderful. Porque solo tenemos que utilizar el adjetivo. Con so. Um, Ahora, the music is so loud. Entonces sería, this is such a loud music. Ah, okay. O sea que aquí me da, o sea, eh, este, se, puede, se puede armar la, la, la oración a partir de, de una lógica que se persigue, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Disculpe que la esté ahí medio molestando, no me haga caso, Ticha. <risa> no, está bien que resuelva sus dudas. Está bien. Vaya, vamos a ver los demás. ¿Qué dicen los demás? Por eso sí me gustaría ver sus ejemplos en el chat. Para ver cómo, los, cómo estamos utilizando las palabras.
Okay, let's see the first example. Alfredo says, the street is so quiet. Okay. Live in such a big house. O puede ser, I would like to live in such a, such a big house. The how, that house is so big. There is such a beautiful garden. Oh, nice. My mom cooks so delicious. My work is so complicated. Jacinto is such a noisy neighbor. <laughs> Thank you. I love such that big house. Mm, vamos a ver, amiga. Sería, I love such big houses. Ok. Sí, usa el plural, ¿verdad? La ja, eso quería hacer. Pero los adjetivos nunca son plurales. Los plurales van a ser los sustantivos, los nouns. Los nouns. Thank you. Ok, yo sí me queda claro. I love such big houses. This is a house. Of... No, this house, Melanie, sería. This house is so big. Domingo está, con, está usando los dos. Solo tiene que usar uno, Domingo. This is such a big house. Or this house is so big. Pero no voy a meter los dos, Domingo. Miren, Alba nos va a invitar a su casa de la playa. My beach house is so big. Cabemos todos, Alba. Yes. Ok, let's go. I never knew such a quiet street. Ok, my friends are very funny in such a way that the laughter of each of them is loud. Ahí sí se podría poner, mire. That the a ver si se puede de esta canción. So Teacher, ¿Mm? a ver si con esto le suena una canción. Vamos a ver. The people is such... Ahí, Jasmine, Melanie, ahí no sería such, sino sería such. The people are so happy. The people are so happy. Así sería. Acuérdense que such lo vamos a usar con adjetivo más un sustantivo. Siempre sustantivo. I never forgot such elegant. I never forgot such elegant lady. Lady in red? Yes. <laughs> Pero porque se la tararé. <laughs> I never forget such an elegant. Such? Such an elegant. Elegant. Okay. Elegant. I never forget such an elegant lady. Okay. I hate such horrible news. Ahí no va el and. Porque es... Directo entonces. Ahí no va. Oh, siempre news. tengo problemas con eso. I hate, I hate such I hate such horrible news. Hmm.
More examples. I want to read more examples. Complicated. Vaya Domingo, ahí sería, I am such a, a tranquil man. Si usa such, you, si usa such, tiene que usar un, un adjetivo más un sustantivo. Ok, teacher, como es okay. mi fantástico. <laughs> In El Salvador, people are so happy, okay? Y si usa so, entonces solo usa un adjetivo. Bueno, voy a hacer yo mi ejemplo. Adol is such a terrific singer. Terrific is, what do you think? Is it positive or negative? Excuse me? Terrific. Is it a positive adjective or a negative adjective? What do you think? Positive. It's positive. Um, Quiero decir que es un... Es, The like, opposite is terrible. Terrible. The opposite is terrible. Terrible is bad. Terrific means nice, magnificent. Y terrible, ¿cómo sería entonces? Porque yo creía que terrible era Terrific. No. Is a correct. Terrible. No, Bad Bunny is such is such a terrible. 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 Terrible K. Terrible Sing. singer. Singer. Ter Bad Bunny is such a terrible singer. But the <laughs> but the boys it doesn't It doesn't, ¿qué? Sin same. No, sin so. No piensan así, teacher. Oh, teenagers. Yeah, but this is just an example. I play soccer at the beach. There are such beautiful games. Um, teacher, pero en todos estos ejemplos que ha puesto, casi no hay oportunidad para el... Para el show, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo no? The la, la segunda opción. The photographs are so amazing. My neighbors are so noisy. Por ideas. The president's opinion is so strong. The last news were so tragic. Those children had those children had manners so horrible. Or those children yes. have such a bad so such a horrible such horrible manners. Today's news were so tragic, okay? The exams results were 
so disappointed. My friend said, the evening, today's evening, was so tranquil. The equation that beach is so secluded. Okay. The equation was so complicated or is so complicated. We can't understand. My bedroom is so tidy. My mother always wears such elegant clothes. Excellent, William Eduardo. I like that. I love that example. My, my cat is so sweet. Mm. The temperature was so warm in the afternoon. Okay, guys, I need to take the attendance. I think somebody's sleeping. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. Alba Vide. Eh, Alfredo Rodas, Amil Carcañengues, here, Carlos Rodriguez, no está Carlos, Carlos isn't here, not right, okay. Um, Cristina Romero, Domingo Alexander, present, Fátima Portillo, present, José Matías Lemos, absent, Marco Velázquez, present, Carlos Cardona, present, Mauricio Alexander. Maideli Judith, Nancy Rodriguez, present teacher, Rocío Martinez, present teacher, thank you, Salvador Escobar, hmm. absent. Eh, Sandra Velázquez. Present. Oh, we could hear your baby. Victor David. Present. Walter Daniel González. William Eduardo Pérez. Present. And Jasmine Melanie Lim. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Let's see the last examples. I like to dance so people will say that I can achieve my dreams. Okay. She has cooked such a wonderful meal. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. Yo creo que ahí sí ya. Ahí sí, ¿verdad? Ya podemos pasar al siguiente topic. ¿Qué dicen? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, nice. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, now we have here a conversation. You have to listen to me for the correct pronunciation. The sales were not so good this month. Therefore, increasing our sales is our target this month. Do you have any idea about what to do? Sure, 
First, analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes have to be mandatory on each sale. That's a good idea. Also, I'm interested in buying raw materials, so we save more money. However, I prefer getting a bank loan for that, but I know that we can pay it with the incomes we get. I'm concerned about asking for money, but let's try it out. So what is the, what is the characteristic of the words in bold? The words use bold. ing. Exactly. These words are in the ing form. Increasing, analyzing, keeping, buying, getting, and asking. If you notice, uh, they are in the ing form. They are called gerunds. Verbs in ing form are called gerunds. Gerunds. Gerundius. Gerunds. Okay, let's see how we can use them. First, we have to answer the, the, the questions. What is the, what is the objective of this month? Increasing or sales. Increasing the sales, exactly. Increasing, increasing, just yes. increasing the sales. Aumentar la venta, increasing the sales. Can you repeat, please? Increasing the sales. Increasing, increasing the sales. Okay, what are some steps they want to follow? What are some steps they want to follow? What are some steps they want to follow to in increase the sales? Uh, first, analyzing. Yes. And, and, keep, and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And the next, um, the next is what is one of them worried about? What is one of the of the employees worried about? Cuando dice, I'm concerned about Milton, what is Milton worried about? Asking for money. Asking for money or getting a bank loan. Un préstamo en el banco, getting a bank loan. Okay, so now guys, how to use gerunds? We can use gerunds as subjects in a sentence, after some verbs, some verbs and after prepositions. But today we are going to focus on gerunds as subjects. Hoy nos vamos a enfocar en usar los gerunds as subjects, como los sujetos de la oración. Example, increasing our sales is mandatory. Producing high quality goods is our target. So they will they are the subject of the sentence. We can also use gerunds after some verbs. For example, I think that I prefer getting a bank loan. I dislike fighting employees due to low incomes. Entonces, aquí tenemos el verbo prefer, and after prefer, we can use the, the gerund. We have the verb dislike and we have the gerund. We can also use the gerund after prepositions. I'm interested in buying raw material. I'm concerned about asking for money. Oh, sorry guys, but today we are going to study gerunds as As what people? Subject. As subjects of. As subjects. Okay, Rocio, can you please read the definition? A gerum can be? A gerum can be the subject of a sentence. 
It is always singular. Use a third person singular verb after a genome. Example. Singular subject, for example, voting is an important responsibility. Exactly. Choosing, choosing a candidate takes time. Very good. So when we use a gerund, it's gonna be always singular and you have to use the third person. Like voting is an important responsibility. Voting is using the verb to be or verb in the third person singular. Choosing a candidate takes time. So we add yes to the verb. Don't confuse gerunds with the present progressive verb form, que es donde usamos el ING para el presente progresivo, pero no lo vamos a confundir. Porque cuando usamos gerunds, como lo estamos usando ahorita, es, no es un verbo, sino que es un sustantivo. Bueno, aquí el presente progresivo dice, I am voting today. Voy a votar hoy. I am voting today. That is a verb. But the gerund here functions, la función de este verbo es como un sujeto, como un sustantivo de la oración. Voting is an important responsibility. Teacher. Yes. If you want to translate, it's, it's like, votar es una responsabilidad, ¿cierto? Importante. Y siempre lo escribe en ING, no. Exactamente, no, en... se utiliza como ING, así lo usamos, pero su traducción a nuestro idioma sería así, votar. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ajá. Okay. No votando, ¿verdad? No, votar, votar. O, o por ejemplo, en este ejemplo, choosing a candidate takes time. Elegir, yes, ajá, elegir un candidato toma tiempo. Carlos o Alberto Rodríguez, welcome. Okay, a gerund is the base form of a verb plus ing, and they can be used as nouns. Como les decía, se, se vuelven sustantivos. So how do we how do we form the gerund? We have the base form plus ing. Work, working, pay. Paying, improve, improving. And there are some rules that, there are some spelling rules that we follow. Vamos a ver algunas reglas. Vaya, por ejemplo, aquí miren. Choose instructions. Change these verbs into their correct ing form. Tenemos cry, die, see, jump, clean, hit, sing, ride, dance, sleep, run, throw, bake, cut, smile, swing, draw, make, drive, and get. So let's learn the rules. The majority of the verbs, we just add ing. Play, playing, sing. Singing. Uh -huh. Jump. Jumping. Mm -hmm. Now, if the verb ends in E, we drop or remove the E and we add ING. For example, write. Writing. Smile. Smiling. Smiling. Drive. Driving. Exactly. If we have a consonant, vowel, consonant, verb, one syllable consonant, vowel, consonant, verb, we double the last consonant and we add ing. Example, clap. Clapping. Clapping. Uh -huh. Run. Running. Running. Get. Um, getting. getting. Sit. Eating. Very good. Can you please do this exercise in your notebook? Yes. Okay, thank you.
Okay, let's write. Okay, which words do you add ing? Thinking. Okay. Cleaning. Ah, you put so Domingo cleaning. Cleaning. Crying. 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 Driving. No, aquí no va en esta categoría. Drawing. Oh, drawing. Getting. Only, uh, only that. Only these ones, okay. Getting to teacher. Esa va en double consonant. Double, double, uh-huh. Okay, now, tell me which ones ends in E and you have to change for ING. Diving. Okay, dive. Mire, tengo dive. Dive, ¿qué hago? Borro la E y le escribo ING. Diving. Drive. Smiling. 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 Making. Making, baking, baking, Riding. una que me gusta, dancing, okay. dancing. <laughs> teacher in, in the lab, teacher grinding, right. Right. sleeping and jumping, ah, si, sí, mire, se nos quedó, aquí lo vamos a poner, sleeping, y que ya estamos sleeping, <laughs> We are sleeping. <laughs> and don't sleep, guys. Don't sleep and jumping. Now, which ones? <coughs> I'm sorry. It is smiling. Yeah, ya está aquí. Diving, driving, smiling, making, baking, dancing, and riding. Ahora oh. double, and now oh, double no, consonant. Sí, <laughs> fíjense bien chiquito, lo, lo puse. Um, I'm sorry, sitting, okay, sit. I double T and not ING. Sitting. Vamos a ver si puedo hacer esto. Okay, sitting. Getting. Getting, how about get? Getting, getting. Running, swim, swimming, eat, run, run, eating, cooking, 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 eating, just a sitting, no, hiding, oh, oh hiding, hiding, hit, hit, hitting, uh -huh. hitting, hitting, hitting. hitting. Mm -hmm. What done. others? Just okay. Done. Okay. Thank you. What about throw? So no la pusimos, miren. Throw. Throwing. Uh, In the first. Throwing. Throwing. Okay. Sin H, teacher. I'm sorry. Ya me no hay doble, ya no hay doble teacher. Yo tengo sueño. O yo tengo... No, ¿saben qué? I am hungry. El doble. Para mí. Throwing. Throwing. I just... No hay doble. Hay no hay doble. Do, doble. No. No, 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 porque mire que tenemos un montón de consonantes. ¿ve? Three consonants, vowel and consonant. Y también no. porque, pero más que todo es por esto, mire, Domingo. Porque el sonido, el sonido no. es con no. O, O. Entonces termina no, no, no. el sonido, throw, termina el sonido vocal. Pero decimos no. consonant, vowel, consonant, tiene que terminar en un sonido 
consonante, un consonant sound, para poder doblar el consonante. En este caso, no. Ah. Es strobe. No tiene que terminar en sonido Getting vocal. Get... En cambio, aquí todas estas terminan en, en, en consonant. Sit, get, swim, run, cut, and hit. Ah, ok. Aquí sería igual como grow. Ay, 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 se me fue. Voy a escribir aquí. Ay, disculpen. Grow, growing. Draw, drawing. ¿Cómo está aquí en español? Ok. ¿Entendido? Siento que está yeah. más fácil, teacher. Está más fácil el gerundio que los verbos del pasado. Es más fácil. Será que, teacher. Ok. Ajá. Teacher, quizás, quizás lo. Uh, uh, maybe I think so the, the easy, the easy way. Because I write in uh, the, the verse, the verse ways. In the past, the past tense, I don't write the verse. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, write it. No. Domingo, go for your coffee, go ahead. And bring us, please, bring coffee for all of us. Because I am hungry. I don't know. Maybe I had dinner so early. I have dinner at 5.15. So yeah, four hours ago. I'm hungry, guys. <laughs> I would like some popcorn. Okay. So now that we have reviewed the, the rules for the, for the gerunds, you have to change the sentences following the example. We have, it is interesting to read a book. ¿Cómo la van a cambiar? Reading a book is interesting. Entonces, vamos a cambiar el to read a un gerund form. It is interesting to read a book. Es interesante leer un libro. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Leer un libro es interesante. Letter B. It is relaxing to listen to music. ¿Cómo haríamos esa oración? Listening. 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 To listening music. to music. Is, it is relaxing. No, solo is. It, listening to music is relaxing. Relax. Sí. ¿Por qué no va el, el it? ¿Alguien me puede decir? Le voy a dar un punto al que me lo diga. Porque es esto es relajante, se está refiriendo a la acción primera. ¿Una afirmación? No, no that's not the reason. Porque el verbo está tomando la posición del sujeto. Ah, ahí está la idea. Vaya, muy bien. Porque aquí, aquí el sujeto, ¿verdad? Está como it. ¿verdad? It is uh -huh. interesting to read a book. Es interesante leer un libro. Pero ¿cómo vamos a, a, a cambiar el, este, este objeto? ¿Verdad? ¿Qué sería el object? Lo vamos a hacer sujeto de la oración. Entonces ya no tendríamos que poner el it porque este llega a ser el sujeto. Listening to music is relaxing. Ok, let's work with the other examples. It is fun to play the guitar. It is exciting to go camping. It is boring to do nothing. It is entertaining to make videos. Okay. Siempre el it sobraría, ¿verdad? Sí, ya no lo pondríamos. Guys, I will go for some water because I don't have. Oops. So. Okay. Sorry. I will go for some water, okay? May I go? May yes, I go? 
Okay, thank you so much. Sure, teacher. Thank you. You're mm -hmm. so kind. Vamos a ver, William. Playing the guitar is funny. Mm, no, en realidad dice fun. Perdón, perdón, perdón. Playing the guitar is fun. No es lo mismo fun and funny. Fun es divertido, ¿verdad? Diversión. Gracias. No, es que fun es divertido. And funny is chistoso. Gracioso. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, el chavo del ocho is funny. Muy bien, Carlos. Camping is exciting. Mm -hmm. Very good, Farima. Or it could be going camping. Ah, también going camping. Mm -hmm. Going camping is exciting. Ay, no sé por qué se me van los mensajes solo para Carlos. Doing nothing is boring. Mm -hmm.
Ah, Fátima sería doing nothing, doing nothing. No hacer nada es aburrido. Doing nothing is boring. Making videos is entertaining, very good. Entertaining. Okay, nice. Very nice. Hmm. Teacher, y en la, en la número que camping en la D solo sería getting getting camping o getting to camping going camping going the verb is going go. or going 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 ah ok go going ay que yo vi que decía going que... camping okay. Es going camping, ok. Going. Ok. Ok, let's do the next exercise. Ah, pero es que este ejercicio quizás lo vamos a hacer mañana cuando veamos mañana. No, no, no tomorrow, please, not tomorrow. On Monday. You're going to do it better on Monday, ok? Ya no estaba dicho. Yeah, tomorrow is Saturday. <laughs> no class tomorrow, no class. Okay, I would like you to practice the pronunciation of this conversation, okay? So please practice the pronunciation of this conversation. So I'm going to send you two small groups and please practice with your partners. Go ahead. Mr. Cañengues, take it easy, relax. 